it's a hot commodity. Everyone's out here. Yeah, I'm old. I'm old. You are not old. You are not old. I mean, in the basketball world, yeah. In the basketball world, you're 35 next month. Yeah, I'm going to be 34 next week, so we're even. But you're not playing basketball. In the grand scheme of things, no, it's not old. Okay, sometimes, though, I do feel it. I do feel like my 30s say, it's not a hot girl song for you, shit. So how are you? I'm doing well. So what's it like being an all-star yet again? This um, time with a, a lot of fresh faces, a lot of newer, lot first, of second time players. Um, so far it's been a lot of fun. I mean, the fact that it's in Vegas alone yeah. um, makes it an amazing experience. But like you said, there's some first timers here um, to play with these younger players. I was just telling one guy, I remember going as a rookie and walking in and it's like Lisa Leslie, Tina Thompson, Cheryl Swoops, Don Stanley, and I'm looking there, I'm like starstruck. How am I even in the same room with these with these people? And now to be 14 years in and in seventh all-star appearance, um, have the opportunity to, to compete and play alongside this new generation. It's gonna be fun. I mean I think for the younger generation coming up, you're on that level of the Cheryl Swoops. And the least You're probably right. You know what I mean? I don't so know. there's like a little 10 year old girl that's looking at you like, oh my God, I want to be hurt so bad. Like, yeah. I cannot I'm, wait. You're right. How does um, that feel? I mean, it's it's amazing. I actually had a girl come to me in Chicago. I say girl. She's a grown woman now. But I think she said she was 12 when she met me when I was drafted in Chicago. And she still wears my Chicago Sky jersey. And now, 14 years later, she's what, 26 years old? And she pulled me aside just to say thank you and let me know how much of a role model I was for her mm -hmm. um, growing up. And I think that's the highest compliment you can receive. That's player. gotta give you chills, like yeah. when you hear stories like that. Like, for sure, for sure. But I mean, you work hard. You that's right. It's a lot of people. So talk to me about some of the all-stars that are here today that you're excited to play alongside or even play against but in like obviously a more fun yeah for environment. sure i mean i'm super excited for erica wheeler um first time all-star appearance for her i know she's just like you gotta fill me in man i don't know what to expect like what's it gonna be like and she's always like super positive and super high energy and so i think it's gonna be an amazing experience for her and i'm glad that we all will be on the same team um so get to enjoy that experience. Um, who else? Nafisa Collier, obviously, a uh, rookie. Haven't had much interaction with her, but it'll be fun to kind of see the people's different personalities, because mm -hmm. when you're playing against them during the season, it's always all work, mm -hmm. no play. Um, so we'll see. What advice would you give to these young ladies as they're starting their careers, becoming all-stars, you know, becoming champions and everything? You've been 14 years playing with pro. What advice would you give them to kind of not be afraid to kind of take on some of those challenges, staying balanced, staying level-headed? Um, for sure, you can't be afraid to take on those challenges. I know one thing I've noticed about the younger group is when it comes to going overseas to play, um, it's a grind, and some of them are just like, no way. They pack up and they leave teams without actually giving it a chance, and it's not the ideal experience, but... Um, you have the opportunity to meet some amazing people, um, experience different cultures, and it helps you grow as a player. So when you do come back here and play, compete in the WNBA, I mean, you're that much better. Um, so just don't give up on experiences. There's been times when I've wanted to quit, and people have been like, well, stick it out, mm -hmm. take what you can away from it, and move on to the next thing. Okay. So after All Star is done, Talk to me about the playoff push that everybody's going to be fighting for. How are you going to leave your, your relatively young team as well to try we to get yourselves to the um, playoffs? We've definitely got the talent to get to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. We've lost a lot of games by the single digits. So we've got to find a way to turn that around. Um, plan on you know talking to my team and just kind of see what they're thinking, figure out where, where we are right now. But there's no reason that we shouldn't be in the top eight um, come early September. Mm -hmm. And are your babies going to be on the game today? They will not. They will um, not be. Okay. The travel for them is a lot. Okay. Their birthday is actually tomorrow. They'll be two years old. And Aww. so they're at that age where they don't like to sit still. And I had them in Indiana, so that was like a four-hour flight yeah. in itself. And I wasn't going to put myself or them through that. Um, but yeah, they'll be watching on TV for sure. Last question. How has being a mom... 
toddlers. So we're, we're heading into toddler land now. It's going to be crazy. But just balancing that with your career, what's that like? Um, it's definitely not easy, but I've had a lot of help. I have an amazing family. Uh, my sister basically put her career on hold to help take care uh, of my two girls when DB and myself were either out of the country playing or we were traveling here in the United States. But this summer, when I got to Indy in April, and then they actually just left about a week ago. So it was definitely a grind. They're up at like 6.30 every single day. Mm. So when they're up, I'm up. And taking care of them, getting them fed, breakfast, all that, hanging out before practice, and you know, being able to spend time with them after practice, it's great. It kind of gives you a chance to just kind of take a deep breath and not think about what's going on at the gym and, and stresses in life. I just get to hang out with them. Well, there, a beautiful girl. Congratulations again. Congratulations on being an all-star. I can't see you on the court. Appreciate that. Take care.